dear dad. I should have written to you sooner, but I couldn't gather the courage to, fearing that this would be another disappointment for you. But sometimes, it's just better that way. Ever since I was a kid, I always used to look up to you. You're always a big man with a good status in society. I tried hard ever since I was a teenager to try and prove myself worthy of being your son. I tried hard to reach to that level where you could probably tell everyone that I am your son. But that day never came and now I don't think it will. I would love to have a talk with you one day. And I could actually tell you how I feel when the Friday class gets over in college. Everyone rushes out of classrooms to grab a ride, meet their boyfriend or girlfriend, catch up with friends, make plans to attack the major party of the night. I walk through the halls, trying not to be noticed, listening to all the chatter, plans being made, latest gossip, laughter. I look around, I see friends hugging, couples kissing, girls talking, boys being boys. I walk empty. No one stops to speak to me. No one grabs me for a hug. No one looks my way. I feel empty. There's a longing within. It makes me sick. No one notices. This is how it feels to be alone. I wish to feel what it feels like to wake up in the morning and love myself. Every child is supposed to be like a blessing to their parents. But I wasn't. I was always supposed to be. You've been disappointed at me for a number of reasons since I was a kid. And I know I failed you. Not once, not twice. But a countless number of times. Beat my physical condition. Or beat is getting second and not the first rank in school. Not being able to make a top notch medical college, going in for a design college, and not even coming close to fulfilling your dreams. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. You must have wished I was dead. I did too. Today, I want you to stop suffering from me. Today, it has to end. I'm tired of disappointing you. And as a last goodbye gift, I'd like to give you back something. A small token of the money that you ever invested in me. I so will give you. It won't be any use to me in a couple of hours and years. Take care of me and give her my love. Goodbye. No, you are committing suicide. I'm going to murder myself. That's how much I hate myself.